I was thinking about the whole concept of bouncing back from adversity. And the thought that came to mind, some of y'all may, may know this, um, but on social media and throughout pop culture recently, there's been a lot of talk about lemonade. Right? Now, somebody, raise your hand if you have an idea about what I'm talking about when I refer to lemonade. So somebody tell me what, what lemonade, le raise your hand if you'd be willing to share with the rest of the audience, for those who might not know, what lemonade is referring to. Beyonce's album. Beyonce's album, okay, right? So, so, as I was thinking, I was like, I love the creativity of Beyonce. Cause I was like, yo, why would you name an album Lemonade, right? And it occurred to me, I was like, hmm, what she's talking about inside of this album a lot is some trials that she had gone through, right? Potentially some issues that she had with her, that she might have had with her husband, who is who? Jay-Z, right? Um, she also talks about some, she, she kind of talks about black struggles a little bit on this album. And I was like, hmm, she's talking about some problems. And I was like, that, you know what she's probably saying? When life hands you lemons, you do what? Make lemonade. Make lemonade, right? And I was like, hmm, that's probably what she's getting at. So I just thought that that was, um, that I thought that was interesting. So my whole theory, my, the name of my book, um, the, 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 what I title almost everything that I do is Average is Failure. I was average as a husband. I was average as an employee. I was average as a student. And because I was average in all those areas, it led to failure. And so my whole goal is, is I can't, like for real, I can't dictate, like none of us can dictate exactly what success will look like in our lives. We can just try our best to put our best foot forward. And so that's simply my, my, my like if you get nothing else out of me being here, if, if I can help you just to live daily a life where you're trying to be excellent every single day and when you go to bed at night, you're able to say that, listen, I left it all on the table and I, if, if you can at least say that, I would say that you're successful. Right? Because you can't control everything else, but you can control who you're gonna be within the situation. Alright? So that's so so basically that's all that's my whole goal, right? I like I could walk away and that could be enough for y'all, right? I was going to some details here, but everything that we do here is really just trying to get to that point. I said that the first thing that we have to do, if we're going to move from average to living what I call the excellent life, right? Or to or to just maximizing the fullness of our potential or to walking or living with purpose, the first thing that we have to do is we have to deal with the truth. Deal with the truth. Deal with the what? Okay. So, so the word says, and you shall know the what? And the truth shall do what? Set you free or, or make you free, right? And, and it's so amazing. I love the fact that, that the word there even says, it shall make you free. It's almost like it's saying like, like you don't even have a choice in the matter, right? Like the truth, like even if you weren't trying to be free, the truth will make you free. One truth, I, I wrote down a few truths here that have been true in my life. This is one of the truths. Being nice is not enough. Being nice is not enough. And one of the challenges that I had, Rev, is that I'm a very nice, I think I'm a pretty nice guy. I, I think so, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think I'm a pretty nice guy. But, but the challenge that I had is that when you grow up being a nice guy, and when you go through, especially like, because you can get you can get through like K through 12 school just being a nice kid for the most part. You know what I'm saying? As long as you don't give your teachers any problems, you do it right. But it 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 it's set, it's setting you up. Why? Because what you don't realize is that being nice does not get you through life. You should be like, like I'm not saying that everybody should go like slapping people or anything like that, right? That's not what we want. But what I'm saying is that is that if you think that being nice by itself is good enough. You are sadly mistaken. Watch this. Let's use an example of that. Let's pretend that there's somebody out on the street right now. They've been injured. They've been hit. Unfortunately, Johnny has been hit by a car. And we all want to go out there and help Johnny. Now, I might say to somebody, like, listen, everybody clear the space. Like, I'm about to help to bring healing to Johnny. And my thing is, somebody might ask me, well, are you qualified? And I'll say, well, who cares about my credentials? I'm a pretty nice guy. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? I'm a pretty nice guy. So be on the strength of the fact that I'm a pretty nice guy, like I should be able to help Johnny out. Now, what would you say to that? 
No, right? Why? Because as nice of a person as I might be, it still does not negate the fact that if you are going to make yourself valuable to what I like to call the marketplace, then the marketplace expects you to, to have some sort of skill. All right? There, there has to be something that you can actively do. There has to be something that you bring to the table aside from just being a nice guy. And one of the, watch this. If you look up the word nice, the, def the definition of the word nice, right, means to, to of course, to, what we, to be pleasant, to, to be, uh, um, uh, what, what's some other words I want to use? You know, you're able to get along with people or what have you. But if you go into the etymology of the word nice, now for those who might not know what the word etymology, et etymology simply means that you're now going into like the history of the word, right? You're not just talking about the definition, but where, where is it that this word comes from? What's the backdrop of this word? Why do we have this word in our language now today, right? And if you go into the etymology of the word nice, that word nice actually means fool. Fool, stupid, right? Right? Which, which, which is, so, 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 so again, I'm not saying that we want to be mean people. We want to be nice people. But we have to be careful because if you settle for just being nice, then you are a fool. And unfortunately, again, we're talking about average is failure, right? Because I was average, I settled for, like, like me, I, I was a fool thinking that being nice would just get me by through. Now, it can give you some advantages, but it by itself, you're going to get found out ex eventually. Somebody's going to find, find you out. But I know that I'm not average anymore. All right? So, so, praise God. So, so. And, and, and I have evidence of that now, right? So I'm not just speaking like from theory, but I have evidence. So I, I was blessed to be able to write the book, right? I was blessed to be able to go to grad school and graduate with a 3.8 GPA this time, right? Right, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I went from being uh, let go from my job and to now uh, being a pastor and also a program coordinator for a nonprofit in Washington, D.C., right? So, 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 so certainly God, while he is still taking me level after, like, higher and higher and higher, he's certainly begun to move me away from being average. 